In the beginning of June 2011, Geonotal Solutions conducted the first tests of the equipment and exhibited the efficiency of the survey method. The survey was carried out in the Black Sea, not far from the Gelenjik Harbor. The unique technology of the seismic survey of offshore oil and gas fields benefits from the outstanding technological features and cost effectiveness. Due to the above mentioned advantages, the technology itself and the first demonstration of the equipment and the surveying method captured the attention of three major Russian oil and gas companies. All three companies sent their representatives as observers for the pilot survey performed by Geonodal Solutions. Alexei Khortov was representing the interest of Luke Oil, Dmitry Vorobyov arrived from Rosneft, and Roman Piskunov acted as representative from Gazprom. The geonodes are being thoroughly checked and fine-tuned before being put into the sea. The equipment is fully ready for conducting a survey in the selected area. This time they will dive 30 meters. The geonodes can operate and collect high-quality seismic data in depths from 0 to 7,000 meters or 23,000 feet. The cutting-edge wireless control of the power supply and electronic components of the node and automatic time synchronization with GPS signals optimize the onboard setup node procedure. By means of all these innovations, the preparation time before the deployment of the nodes was cut to almost zero compared to the competitive equipment developed by other companies. Moreover, the equipment produced by Geonodal Solutions requires less staff to operate it. Once the vessel is in the work area, the node deployment begins. Each node dives to the seabed with an eco-friendly anchor, another innovation introduced by Geonota Solutions. Each node is deployed at the predetermined area of the sea surface and then dives to the desired spot on the seabed. Simultaneously, all deployments are recorded by the navigation software. This data will be used in the future to pick up the nodes upon release from the anchors. Upon receiving an acoustic signal from the vessel, the anchor will release the node and will remain on the seabed. It will disintegrate into silica sand and water, non-polluting components already contained in the seawater. In this way, the nodes are deployed in the survey area with equal intervals between them. Each node is fully self-contained and performs autonomic data recording. This unique technological advantage helps to achieve good coupling of the nodes with the seabed, making possible collection of top quality data regardless of the bottom configuration. As a result of this, the rows of the nodes form plain two-dimensional grid. Once the deployment of the nodes is completed, the second phase of the survey begins, shooting from the vessel with a seismic energy source. The air gun is being submerged into the water and then it shoots producing seismic waves by discharging the pressurized air into the water. The source vessel shoots along the survey lines. Survey shooting lines are set up into the navigational software according to the survey plan. The final data processing of all performed shots recorded by all nodes makes it possible to form a deep image of the surveying area. The seismic energy propagates downwards to the earth and then comes back, reflected from heterogeneous structures. When the reflected waves reach the seabed, they are being recorded by the geonodes located on the sea bottom. Due to the low power consumption of the geonodes, the operation survey time could be significantly increased. The geonodes can be deployed for different seabed positions numerous times without any need for replacing the power supply module. All these technological advantages result in increased productivity of the survey and decreased cost for the customer. The next phase of the survey is the picking up of the geonodes with recorded data from the seabed. In order to provide communication between the vessel and the geonodes, a special hydroacoustic transmitter is submerged in the water. Each geonode has a unique code number which can be easily found in the survey monitoring software. A special geonode deck box with acoustic transmitter is used to communicate with the geonodes and send commands for node release. The node vessel goes into the first line of the grid and transmits a pop-up signal to the geonodes in the line. Once the signal is received, the geonodes switch from the low power mode to the eco anchor release mode. Upon release from the eco friendly anchors, the geonodes start to ascend to the sea surface. The nodes float up to the surface at the same places where they were deployed. 
After surfacing, they are collected from the sea surface with specially designed equipment or collected manually by the crew. Once on deck, the geonodes are carried to the wireless terminal for backing up of the recorded data. While the recorded data is being backed up to the terminal, a new eco-friendly anchor is being attached to the geonode. Upon completion of the above-mentioned procedures, the geonodes from the recently collected line of the grid are ready for deployment on the new line of the grid. The key to the operational efficiency of the surveying of the defined area is the transfer of data from the geonodes to the terminal. One of the major competitive advantages of Geonodal Solutions equipment is the radio transparent case of the instruments and the high-speed data transfer between Geonode and the terminal. The C phase of the project is completed when all nodes are picked up from the seabed with the recorded data. Now the collected data is going to be processed and interpreted to provide the client with complete information about the geological structure. In August 2011, Geonodal Solutions successfully completed a challenging project near Nadian Mar. There were a number of failed attempts to survey that area in the previous years by other major geophysical surveying companies. In January 2012, Geonoda Solutions won a tender held by ONGC for the Deepwater Seabed Seismic Data Acquisition Project. The project data will be submitted to the client summer of 2012. Geonoda Solutions was awarded Best Geological Exploration Technology of 2012 at the Russian Shelf 2012 International Exhibition.